So from the main page of the virtual terminal menu, you'll see the Rykart interface. Um, this is the Rykart AutoSteer System's main user interface. Um, at the top of the screen, you'll see a light bar. It'll show the deviation of the AutoSteer, how many inches or centimeters you are from your line. There is a real-time compass showing you the heading that we are calculating for the system, as well as satellite and correction information. The number of passes from your original pass, the aggressiveness of the system, which is currently set at 50, and the nudge value for the system. How far are we nudging over our line from our original uh, AB line? On the bottom right corner, you'll see a picture of a tractor with the number one. That means we are using vehicle profile number one. Our controller can store up to eight different vehicle profiles. The bottom right corner will show the speed that our system is currently seeing. To change the reaction or aggressiveness, we also call it the sensitivity of our system. We have a value here of 50. The button used to adjust this number is right below the engage state button. Looks like an axle with the wheels at a slight angle. Go ahead and hold this button. It'll start flashing. You'll see plus and minus buttons. You can tap the plus or minus buttons and it'll change the value. You can actually do this while the auto steer is engaged and you'll see the system change how it steers in real time. To nudge the system, you have a value here. Uh, right now it's showing zero. If you want to change your nudge value, the button right below the sensitivity adjustment looks like a straight axle with some vertical lines above it. If you hold this button, it'll start flashing and you'll have right and left arrow keys. And again, you can adjust nudging to the right, positive numbers, or to the left, negative numbers. And then you tap the flashing button to set in place. You can also do this while the auto steer is engaged and the system will move to follow the moving line. To recenter the system, for example, I'm running a combine on WAS and I parked it and after some time our deviation has floated over to 10-15 inches off of our current line but I am parked in the exact position I want to be for running the combine and you want to recenter put the line right back at zero you would tap this button and then tap the OK button again and this will zero out your system the button below the nudge button is the menu button call it the wrench button if we're in GPS steering mode, you tap the wrench button to enter in our GPS menus. Hit escape to cancel. The button at the top is our engage state button. So right now the engage state is not engaged. And that's shown because of the white box. If we engage the system, it'll turn green. And now this system can be engaged by a multitude of methods. It can be engaged by a foot switch or any kind of digital input on most machines. Certain CAN bus controlled machines it's done via switch on the CAN bus. Um, there are other options for engaging system as well. The bottom right button which looks like a steering wheel with the three orange dots is used to change different steering modes. Right now we're in GPS steering mode. Press and hold this button. It'll move up a few spots and begin flashing. And then from here you can hit the plus or minus buttons to select from different steering modes. Not all steering modes may be visible in every controller. We do this by limiting the steering mode availability. They can always be unlocked at a later date. Um, we don't charge for unlocks or anything like that. We just don't, for example, put tack steering on a tractor that would not have tack sensors. We do this just so there's one less thing to uh, mistakenly put into the system. Anyways, if we're changing between modes, you'll notice we have sonic sensors, our tack sensor, GPS. We also have a mechanical roll finder mode and some other modes.